Before starting the work, you need to sterilize your working area with ethanol. Sterilize your hands too. To isolate angular leaf spot, you will need infected leaves. These are some leaves that have been collected from an infected leaf. The symptoms shouldn't be old, but again, they shouldn't be young. You also need a needle, ethanol to sterilize the needle, and a lamp to sterilize the needle. You'll also need V8 media, amended with antibiotics, in this case, rifamycin. You'll also need a microscope. Light the lamp and sterilize the needle. Place the leaf on the stage and focus to see the cinemata. Pick a small piece of the media and use it to slightly touch the cinemata. Transfer this onto the media. Repeat the process of sterilizing the needle, picking the cinemata and plating on the media five times, each time placing in a different location in the plate. Label the plate well, showing the date of plating, the name of the media, and the source of the pathogen. Using sealing tape, seal the plate very well. Prepare two to three meals of sterile water into an empty and clean petri dish. Pick a single colony using a forceps and place it in the, in the water. And crush the colony to release the spores. Using a smaller pipette, pipette up and down to mix the spores and prepare 200 microliters of the spore suspension onto V8 media without any antibiotics. Sterilize a glass rod by flaming. Allow to cool. and spread the suspension on the media uniformly. After spreading the spore suspension, seal the plate with sealing tape and store the, the plate in an incubator at 24 degrees Celsius and leave for 14 days to allow the pathogen to grow. To prepare the inoculum, open the, the 14 day old cultures, flood, flood them with sterile water, and using a sterile, sterile forceps or a toothbrush. Scrape the mycelia off the media. This is to release the spores of the fungus. At this point, the spore concentration is very high. 
So you will need to dilute it to come to the recommended concentration. To do this, you will need a hemocytometer or a counting chamber and a large beaker to make the dilution. So pour the suspension into a large beaker. Add a little water to make the dilution. The spore suspension will require to be sieved. For this, you will need a strainer. To determine the spore concentration, you will need a hemocytometer. Cover the counting chamber with a cover slip. Pipette 200 microliters into the channels of the hemocytometer. Mount the hemocytometer onto the microscope. The microscope should be at 40x objective with a light field illumination. You'll also need a tally counter to count the spores. Focus to see the spores within a field. and begin counting the number of, sp number of spores within a square meal. Using the average number of spores from the 10 squares, dilute the concentration to come to the recommended concentration as shown in the manual. In Africa, there are mainly two races of angular leaf spot the Mesoamerican race and the Indian race. In the training, we try to target both races. We have two chambers, separate chambers for the Indian race and the Mesoamerican race. The chambers are made in a way to provide an environment that is moist and humid. They are made out of plastic sheeting, wood, and inside the floor is covered with some, with some matting. The matting is kept moist provide a humid and moist environment conducive for the earth for the pathogen to grow. This is the spore suspension that has been prepared in the laboratory. To inoculate you will need to add twin 20 to 500 ml of the inoculum add three drops of twin 20. Check. Spray inoculum on the bottom side of the trifoliate leaves, thoroughly covering the plant. After three days, the plants are removed from the chamber and brought out and left to, to grow to show the symptoms of the disease. This may take 10 to 14 days. <laughs>